Hi, I'm Lee Newbecker, and I'm back here with Gary Sikich on my show. Thanks for coming back on, Gary. Thanks, Lee, for having me. I appreciate it. So uh, what do you want to talk about today? Well, we can talk about transportation issues. We can talk about coronavirus issues related to anything and everything. Well, um, how, about, how about the cyber attacks that, that you were talking about earlier that took place in some of the, the cargo shipping? Yeah, I was just going to mention that we've had a number of incidents over, well, since March that um, I think would have occurred regardless of coronavirus or not, but that we've seen more and more shipping being attacked in a cyber attacks with ransomware, with other types of interference. Um, so we've, we've seen an, an uptick and there's a lot of vulnerability and susceptibility within the shipping industry in that regard. Uh, they just had one this week. Yeah, I, you know, you brought that up and I, I remembered um, there's a video I, I wanna share with you. Uh, mm -hmm. Back when the USS McCain underwent a cyber attack. Um, well, they, they had a collision and I speculated that it was a cyber attack. I wanted to just show you the clip and see if you see what, what I saw. Hold on just a second, share screen. Okay. Got the screen on. This is a, an AIS video, which is posted. It's it shows commercial traffic. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna jump forward to um, what, what we see here at this this point in time, um, the this is the USS McCain, which is not on uh, the commercial public uh, tracking system. And the blue line here is actually the ALMIC, which uh, changes course at the last minute and collides. So I'm going to play it real quick. You can see the ALMIC. Oh, okay. What did what did you notice happen at the precise time of the collision? Well, he went almost directly at, at the, the ship. It was like a 90 degree turn. Yeah. Watch it one more time here. Okay, so it was minutes before the course changed. M many of these cargo ships are under, you know, autopilot GPS drive. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want you to look, I want you to look right here. See this ship here, Run Hang 98? Mm -hmm. That's a Chinese ship. It's within it's within Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS spoofing range of the Almec. And now watch at the exact time of collision. It disappears. Do you see that? Wow. And yeah, it was just sitting of... there in place. Yeah, so anyway, I have reported this previously to the Department of the Navy at the time. But there were a number of incidents happening that made it look like these vessels under autopilot were having, at the last minute, they were suddenly changing course and colliding into ships. So this whole GPS hacking is still, you know, still a real risk. And that's why now, you know, the, the military said that this was a, a issue with the men on deck, not, you know, not paying attention to what's around them, but at the time, I don't think that the Navy expected friendly cargo ships to suddenly collide towards them. Yeah, to veer off course at like night that. On short notice. So I, I suspect now that the Navy has protocols to help anticipate this type of thing happening and to protect our servicemen. Mm -hmm. Well, so, you know, that kind of goes along with, with the uh, studies that they've done on the uh, utility side of the house with the um, uh, generation equipment, uh, your converters, your you know, the big boxes that, that essentially transfer power from power plant to the grid system. Um, and they've seen that you can take those over via the cyber, you know, uh, the cyber you know, window, if you will. Yeah. Oh, we even had the issue with the, the Boeing uh, Max 8s when they, they were having all those problems. And the the chip that was inside the, the plane is a combination hybrid chip that's both electromechanical um, mm -hmm. and digital. And if you, if you direct sound waves 
at that chip, at the natural frequency of the chip, you can cause the chip to malfunction or even be damaged. So it's possible that a sonic attack was launched either while the, the plane was on the ground to damage that chip, or it could even happen in air. So I, I suspect that, uh, that um, you know, those, the MAX-8 is undergoing rigorous testing before they bring those back up. Yeah, I would think that that's got to be, I mean, just the entire cyber perspective has got to be an area where private sector and public sector need to coordinate and you know, share information, but also figure out a way to begin to protect. Now, the interesting aspect with this is that I talked to a couple of colleagues recently, um, former military, and they're all saying now that there is a developing new strategy where instead of being reactive, that the U.S. may become proactive, if you will, and preempt a lot of attacks. So they may become more aggressive in terms of cybersecurity in an offensive way versus a defensive way, uh, yeah. which is really interesting because at what point does that become so expansive that we find ourselves um, you know, in, in, in locked in a cyber conflict. Yeah. Well, the, but like, let's take the, the GPS, the potential for GPS hacking is there. Mm -hmm. uh, by having uh, multi uh, antenna detection systems, you could have uh, on the front of a vessel and the back of the vessel, you could have two antennas attached to a computer. And if it detected a sudden changeover in the GPS coordinates, it, didn't align with the distance between the two, you could, you could know that that vessel's in a region where someone's screwing with GPS. And then if you have enough vessels with this technology, you can triangulate and locate the source of the emission. And that would be something that could be proactive to identify are there, are there vessels out there on the water that are emitting and trying to overpower the global satellite GPS signals yeah. with local signals. And that would be very useful to know because you could track down, you know, the source. And it doesn't mean that the the source ship might not even know that their their equipment's compromised. So it's, it's a lot more complicated than simply assuming that the vessel generating the signal, that the, the operators yeah. of that vessel are behind the attack. So it would be wise to not sink them right away. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Well, thanks for being on the show. I appreciate it. Thanks, Lee, for having me. It's a great topic. I'm sure that this is going to get much more press over time. Yeah. Take care.